her two heroes, Karl Marx and Al Capone. Al Capone said, if you're going to steal, steal big and hope like hell you get away with it. And Karl Marx said, all property is theft. I think they'd both be proud of me. Lucky Kunene, you're under arrest for murder. Take him away. Five hundred police and soldiers took part in a major raid in Hilbra today. All the buildings targeted have been taken over by criminal gangs. Police confiscated 591 illegal firearms and 2,714 rounds of ammunition. Large quantities of drugs were seized, including 8 kilograms of cocaine, 62 kilograms of heroin, in addition to ecstasy, mandrax, and methamphetamine. Police made 93 arrests for serious offenses, including murder, rape, and armed robbery. Among those detained was notorious Hillbrow crime boss and slumlord Lucky Kunene, also known as the hoodlum of Hillbrow. This time, I think you should tell me the truth. What do you want? The real story. Take me back to the beginning. The beginning. So wait. 1994. Freedom. The new South Africa. A new dawn. A new day. A fresh start, a clean page, a new beginning. And I had dreams. The trains were the circulatory system of the black urban economy. My best friend Zakes and I were sucking that blood, selling peanuts for peanuts. However, free enterprise was never encouraged. Go. I have to. Yes. 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 Yes.
It is our sincere pleasure to offer you a place at our School of Business Studies in Fetting in your knee, Sangu that's it. That's That's it. Come right now, the No wonder. Once it's chicken, always it's chicken. Yes, <laughs> Next man, leave us alone. You watch it, bro. It's not Corella, it's Kerela. Understand? Kerela. And I train in Moscow, not in the bush. You're beneficial. Oh, Moscow, ne? So when you die in Moscow? It's cold as hell, bro. Oh. So, do you speak Russian? No, oh, man. The only Russian I embraced is an AK-47. Ay, <laughs> cock. The only Russian he embraced is vodka. No way, we are Chance, out of Russia. So, Prakai, you eventually decided to join the terrorists because you say you couldn't catch them, huh? No, my lady. Police work pays chicken shit. So, I've gone into private enterprise. Oh. And uh, what sort of enterprise is that? We're in the procurement industry. I'm going to come right here. We are hijacked. Also, hijack is a dirty word. It's called affirmative repossession. Ah, but come on, man. Ish, we didn't fight the struggle so that we could become criminals. And I didn't fight apartheid to be poor either. I may be a communist, but I believe that God helps those who help themselves. And God help us if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nazareth. He was our hero. He left in the 80s to join the armed struggle. When he returned from exile, he had the biggest cars, the most money, and any woman he wanted.
صار مدير طيب تهجى لدي شو كشاب كوت كوز افري من فاهم سار ورث اوف ذا نيشن Like, how bad are you going to let her to me? Bala buka ena baby. Hey, look at you. Make it over. Excuse me, boys. How can I help you? How much are these? What you can do for such a big bloomer? When financial aid for university proved problematic, Nazareth organized us an apprenticeship. He also put us in touch with a business associate to procure the necessary supplies. Hello? Hey, Muhu. I need a Check. white Isuzu bucket. Short wheel base. 95 model. Get it? Yeah, uh, a white Isuzu bucket. Hey, Muhu. Remember, I'm taking a chance on you, eh? Yeah. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Hey, well. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. As long as I'm not going to get it. Nazareth's contact started us off gently, and we figured, how hard could it be? If there were risks, we weren't too concerned. Besides, on the outskirts of Soweto, there were more white pickup trucks on the streets than there were white people in Santon, short beds and long beds, Ford Bantams, Toyota Hiluxes, Nissan cabs, Opel Corsas, quarter tons, half tons, and flat beds. Every kind of bucking known to men Excepting, of course, a fucking 95 white Isuzu. As time passed, we became desperate. No, no, kidding, yes. Hey, Stu, my feet are killing me. I'm fine. 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 I
Show me, brother. Who's this? Do you know the way to Kruger's store? Oh, OK. You need to turn around here, man. Maybe it's about three kilometers from here. You turn left, yeah. go straight down north. Es ist ein Damit, we are going to ring on the wrong line. The Shimanas guys is killing the foot. How many women have you had? Banga, come on, first go, Baba. Yeah, if I have a friend, you know, magic, that's in magic, it's a second, I'm a second, it's 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 Clavan, <laughs> 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 Hey, 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 sir. What do you think you're doing? Huh? You are amateurs, man. You fucking amateurs. Is this the best you could do for me? Ish, man, we could have done better. We just needed some more time. I'm taking 2,000 for damages. Goodness, 1081. Hey, look. Whoa, what's this now? Every time you deliver, I deposit money into your account. You use the card Aye, to draw man, it out. I, I can't use this, Joe. We want cash. Hey. No one walks around with cash anymore. You want to get shot or held up or hijacked? Do I look like a fucking idiot? Plus, you really do from there. Yeah, in Asia. Ah, kit, 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 Yeah. Oh, I like you. Why was I going to scale up and up? Kikuti. 
What? And what about varsity? Well, I guess I'll attend the University of Life. Oh, you who like taking the easy way out. I don't know why you understand. Then why don't you make me understand? Angel, you found her once we learned to drive, it was easy. While we were becoming the hijacked kings of Soweto, Nazareth had turned to movies for inspiration. Hey, <laughs> May I like this? I have a job for you. If Hollywood could teach you how to knock over armored cars, bank robberies were a walk in the park. 
After a spate of daring heists, the banks upgraded their security, but Nazareth always found their weak spot. If Mother Russia had taught him Sam text and strategy, Uncle Sam completed that education via correspondence school. Sam, have a nice day. Someone on the inside was always involved. And who could blame them? You see, in the new South Africa, everyone deserves their entitlement, preferably in this lifetime. I was having more than enough problems of my own. We were having too many close calls. Cops, frustrated by rising crime rates, and a legal system that couldn't keep those arrested behind bars took the law into their own hands. I decided to quit before I was forced into an early retirement. Mama! Sandy! Nagi! Yes, Nagi! Ubele! Uh, Ubele, what's up? Mama, I'm going to go to the house. I'm Yes, Kevengu. Kill with super. Check the windscreen. Hose is down. Hey, I saw a uniform, man. You didn't be tinted. Good to have a pleasure for sitting here. Serious. What are you gonna eat? Books. Climbing the biggest growing industry in the country. Reaction, Comrade Nazareth. Keep private security. Last day, 50 little mining. I'm like the boy. Keep a table in the field. What for? Hold this, man. No violence. Cargo is a man, I'm like. For a Jewish girl. And I'm so good for mix. Panda, I'm like. I'm in. What's up, Isaac? Take the lead. So get us to a bagger.
Nigerians, Congolese, they are bullies. They are calling from your mother. They catch it, fucking baboons, and then eating them. Sis! Jerusalem! Hey, 
Are you telling me? I'm not fish and chips, sir. I'm going to get a little bit. Anyone who's open, who's there, sir? Now, sure. Yeah, yeah. Come, sir. Come. Come, sir. Yeah, I'm not going to ask. When I know the exes of Madame Vika, I'm going to ask. 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 I wish sometimes to be in my mouth is not as Pumela, do you know? I have a taxi business to run. Lucky, if you need money. I'm going to ask. How long do you think this scam of yours will last? I couldn't meet you myself. Sugar, you must be angel when you think you're angel. Nomsa had dropped out of job at tech and followed me to Hillbrook to attend the University of Life. She'd found work as a bank teller and a way to make it pay. She'd learned what we all knew. If you want to get by, take a job where there's something to steal. And of course, her brother Bull had graduated with flying colors. Two beers and cigarettes, please. Come on. Okay. Okay, taxi man. I'm speaking to Alexandre Komora. Ah, I give you a line. Come on, Kati. Ah, I want a line. Oh, man. Come on, I'm going to sue you sometimes. I want to go faster. Fuck it, look at me like that, eh? Hey? 
driving a pirate tax in our territory, man. We don't pull the can up to my popcorn. That can take me. I didn't fuck with you. You fucking hear me? Fuck off, man. Stop the fucking car that we fixed this bitch. Stop the fucking car. Ewen, do you live in this pigsty? Hey, if you want to talk business, you talk. Otherwise, you fuck off. What you done, hey, Jackie? Hey? Taxi? I never buy taxi on one. 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 Al Capone said you can go a long way with a smile. You can go much further with a smile and a gun. But if I was going to graduate from this shithole to my beach house, it would take a gun in one hand, a briefcase in the other, and my best shit-eating queen. Good morning. How can I help you? Morning. My name is Lucky Kunene. Annemarie van Rensburg. So, Mr. Kuneni, what is it that you want? I want to open a company and bank account. I can do that for you. What assets do you have? None. It's a non-profit organization. You do have money, don't you? I have 1,000 rand. It costs 2,000 rands to register at a company's house, and you have to pay me for my time. Okay. Okay, I'll do it for you. But you have to pay me by Monday next week, otherwise my boss will kill me. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Do you have a name? Yes. Lucky Kunene. No, Mr. Kunene. For the company, I mean. The Hillbrook People's Housing Trust. That's right. And then one of them okay. Now you want my help. Hey, Lucky. My little brother here tells me your life's been good. Why my manners? This is Comrade Fusi, Comrade Temple. He gave this light his free education. Was it? Meeting Saturday morning? 
Kimna Laki Gunene from the Hillbrook People's Housing Trust. We are arranging a meeting. What's it all about? It's in your best interest. My name is Laki Kunene. And I represent the Hillbrook People's Housing Trust. Now, I know you're all wondering why we call this meeting. You see, I, like you, am a resident of Dan Vista Mansions. And I'm sure you're all aware of the appalling living conditions. The building has been allowed to decay while the rent has gone up. Not anymore. Starting tomorrow, things will change. From now on, your rent will be paid directly into the trust. The housing trust will in turn negotiate with the landlord and make any and all repairs deemed necessary. Yeah. With immediate effect, your rent will be cut in half. Yeah. Until, until the situation can be re-evaluated. In the meantime, it is our intention to get rid of drugs, prostitutes, and all other unsavory elements. Hey, asshole, go fuck yourself. <laughs> we can't have different forces pulling in all different directions. The only way we can win is if we work together. Anyone with me? Raise your hands. The junkies were out. The drug dealers were out. The hookers were out. Anyone who didn't pay rent was out. Anyone gave any shit was out. This is the new South Africa. Everybody pays their way. Fuck off. I'm busy. Appeal for clemency. You had grounds. A state lawyer on Chaisor pleaded guilty. But when it was me, I was going to sue for wrongful imprisonment and damages. I mean, after all, you had a hero of the struggle. Who's that? Lucas Itol. He's the lawyer I retained to represent us. Do you think he's honest? <laughs> Not a chance. Hey, Lucas! This is Zeke Mbulelo, my partner. So you grew up with Nazareth, eh? But you must be proud of him, eh? For the sacrifice he made for this country. No, Nasa, no, I don't need any gratitude. Good. Because you are not going to get any. I fought for freedom so they can go to school. You ran to exile when things were tough. You were in jail when you started off business. That's the price of freedom. I thought that was the price you paid for Amrabah. Who's doing all the fucking dirty jobs around hey, you? Hey, 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 Jans. Hey, man, Jan. Hey, Mkunzi, I'm going to be here. More beers for everyone. That's the last of it. We are broke now. Enjoy, engines. Yeah, this is how the other half live. The other, other mess cross. It's definitely greener. 
Yeah, because he's got more shit on it. Hello. Yes, this is Mr. Kunene and Mr. Mbulelo. We are here for Mr. Santos Ribeiro. Master, there are men to see you. At the gate. I won't let them in. I'm Lucky Kunen. This is my associate, Zeke Mbule. What do you want? We represent the Hillbrook People's Housing Trust. I don't give money to hawkers. We are not hawkers, Mr. Santos Ribeiro. And we are certainly not looking for charity. How do you know my name? We are here to discuss Dan Vista Mansions. Dan Vista Mansions? What do I have to discuss with you? If you'd actually bother to visit the building, I think you'd be aware of the appalling condition it's in. Why don't you mind your own business? It is my business. I'm putting all of you slum landlords How on slum landlord me? That building was in perfect condition till there were 20 people living in a single You flat. mean 20 black people? Don't pull that race shit. I never said black people. I want to know what you're up to. We, the Hilbro People's Housing Trust, are collecting rent and holding it in trust until this matter is resolved to our satisfaction. Take my card. When you've decided you're willing to talk, call. What if he goes to the police? Okay. This is purely a civil matter. There's no such thing as theft of fixed assets. The police can't do nothing about it unless the owner gets a court order and that will take him around a year or, or even more. And all the time we are collecting rent. Hallelujah, my brother. With his income stream dried up and no money to pay rates and utilities, as expected, Mr. Santos Ribeiro phoned to negotiate. My approach was simple. String him along. They're not coming. We leave him hanging and the rent rolls in. This is the only country in the world where you have to take shit in 11 official languages. So how does this happen? These people, huh? We'll start here at 100. They come here. Do I have 100? They tell the residents to boycott the rent and the services. When I default on the loan, the building goes into liquidation. 81. 81,000. I've got 81,000. They step in, they buy it for pittance. 81,000. To Mr. Lucas Titoli, the representative of the Hillbrook People's Housing Trust. So what can you do? Nothing. No one will help us. Thank you. Thank you. Now I've lost everything. Are you happy? Evan renewal was desperately needed in Hillbrook, which meant for the Hillbrook People's Housing Trust, things were looking up. Once we had identified a potential building, Sitole had a contact at the municipality who finished us with the landlord's information. The Housing Trust would arrange a summary inspection of the premises and immediately remove pests and other vermin as necessary. During community outreach, tenants were incentivized to exercise their democratic rights, to give us their money. In cases where a landlord would defy the will of the people, a chief of conflict resolution was promptly appointed. Studies of the nature of the dispute were made, and terms that would appeal to the landlord's sensibilities were proposed. We were taking back the streets, one building after another, after another. I looked around, and what I saw was an empire waiting to happen. Is this Mr. Gnene? Yes. I'm Loretta Damini from the Soweto newspaper. Is it possible to speak to you? It's a smear campaign. I'm a legitimate businessman providing shelter for the poor and disenfranchised. I was told you control 20 high-rise buildings in the Hilbro and Dubert Park area. I'm just in the business of making a better life for all. The inhabitants of Hilbro call you the African Robin Hood. They say you're a champion of the poor, that you take back land stolen from them by the whites. I've done nothing illegal. Then how did you acquire your alias, the hoodlum of Hilbro? I don't know what you mean. Have you ever used force to take over a building? I think we've had enough violence here to last a lifetime. 
I operate within the limits of the law. Then why the smear campaign? It suits them to demonize me. Look at who they are. People who'd like to see blacks back in the townships. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Okay. I will tell you, I'm going to be here. And we buy a little sweet tea. Yo, tell us. Chef, Carl. Chef, 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 let's go. Hey, what's up? Chef, 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 What the fuck are you doing? What's where you're driving, man? I'm, I'm looking for the Sands the Hotel. Sand? Are you mad? You shouldn't be here. Lucky, forget it. This white chick's our shit scared of us, Ducky. Kill who? My brother, Josh. <laughs> um, who are they? Um, Tony and Gooey, he's a drug dealer. Josh owes him money. Unlock the door. I'll come with you. You're going to risk your life for this white bitch. Come in, brother. I'm not your brother. I've come for him. You, fuck off. Go make some money. He'd better be alive. I just gave him work along to calm him down. He's very emotional, you know? Hey, stay, smoke pipe on the house. Hey, what's with you, white people? You have nice houses, smart cars, 
fancy clothes, and you still come here. Why? I guess when you're rich, poverty seems glamorous. It's got a certain charm. We have a meeting scheduled with the Residence Committee concerning this, this unlawful occupation. If you represent the people responsible for the shit state of the building, do something. The lifts aren't working. Yes, and every time we repair the lifts, you vandalize it. We know you're behind this. If you have a problem, go to the police and lay a charge. The Hilbra police station is just around the corner. You know full well that the cops will tell us it's a civil case. Then it'd be wise to take the advice and fuck off. Nova Holdings owns this building. We have a right to speak with the, the residents. The building was abandoned. The uh -uh. owners moved this to New Zealand. This building is part of the urban regeneration scheme. Here are the papers. I don't care. The man asked you to leave. Now take your papers and fuck off! Put that! You haven't heard the last of this. Go. That's a That's a Just shoot them like dogs. I suppose no one saw anything. Yeah, welcome to Ilpur. This is the Karatamula way. I want to go to Masabakan by me. Would you not look out, Nazar? Profits are running in excess of a million rand a month. Thanks. I'll take these two. Mr. Kuneni, there were two policemen here yesterday. They were asking me about you and your business. What did you tell them? Nothing. Just that your accounts were up to date and in order. Thanks. South Africa in. How about a little multiculturalism? Huh? <laughs> Stand up! 
Au clé inspecte SWAT. Lucky Kunene. Who are you? Tell me, what do you do for a living, Mr. Kunene? I drive a taxi. Your business must be good, eh? People need transport. You tell me, do all your passengers pay with 100 rand notes? Buy yourself a cold drink. Happy Christmas. Jesus! Hey, you leave Jesus Christ out of this. My name's Blackie Swart. And I'll be your reckoning from now on. You see, Mr. Kunene, we know who you are. We know what you do. We know where to find you. So your days are numbered, Mr. Kunene. We're just too visible, like you. The corpse can't touch us in Hillbrook. They are not Hillbrook corpse. If they were, we'll know about it. Lucky Kunen. Uh, hi, it's Leah. Uh, I was just going to say thank you. Uh, you gave me your number, so I hope you don't mind. How's your brother? He's going to be fine. He's in rehab. Good. I was thinking about what you said about poverty. Look, I, I didn't mean to offend anyone. Uh... On the contrary. Why don't you meet me for lunch? If you don't mind slamming it, I know a really charming restaurant. Look at all of them coming and going from church. Hillbro is like uh, the new Jerusalem. It's more like Sodom and Gomorrah. How can you say that? Well, Hillbro is the crime capital of the world. It's just a place where poor black people come to make a living. Don't play the race card on me. <laughs> Old habits die hard. <laughs> You'd be surprised how effective it can be. I can believe it. What do you do? I'm a nutritionist. I teach people how to eat properly. What kind of people don't know how to eat? All kinds of people. People who want to lose weight. So you teach fat people to be thin? I run a clinic in Alex twice a week. I deal with malnourished children. I ask supermarkets to donate out-of-date food. And I teach parents what constitutes a balanced diet. What do you do, Lucky? I buy and develop property. I run a non-profit housing trust. Not everyone in Hillbrook is a criminal. Lucky, thank you so much. Thank you. I warned you not to do this. Ella. I'm not paying for his bail. Lock the bulldog up and throw away the key. Hey, you're for tech, man. You're for no, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, hey, hey. And fuck you, too. It's over between us. Over. No, lucky, lucky. I'm sorry. Lucky, lucky. My man.
that was over too quickly. I've got all night. Looking for trouble. I don't want to invite the cops to our party. Lucky, I thought you wanted to expand the business. <clears throat> Since when are you scared of the cops? Pay them off as usual. And how exactly did you meet him? Mutual acquaintance. Lucky, he's clever. A clever is a person who doesn't use drugs. A clever is a person who sells drugs to you, and drugs make you think you are the clever one. If that's clever, it's too clever for me. Lucky, okay, please, will you at least speak to him? Lucky Kunene, come, please, sit. Can I get you anything? You wanted to speak to me. It would seem that you and I, by default, have become the princes of Hebrew. And? And our businesses coexist mostly peacefully, putting our past different aside. What I'm proposing is a symbiotic relation. You want me to allow you to pimp and deal from my buildings? Brother, I prefer to see it as a free enterprise zone. We can all make serious money. Just tell me this. Why did you come here? I'm into South Africa. It's fine to hate us while you sit there on your asses waiting for your indictment from Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> if you think he's going to come and part the Dead Sea and lead you to a promised land, you are wrong, brother. So, you fucked up your own country. Now you want to fuck up this place too. I don't want to fuck anything. I sell drug. That is business. They call us pushers, but I don't push. It flies off the shelf. Kunene, brother, wait. Dashana, Habaa, Beara, the Israel. Dashana, Habaa. Be'erushalayim. This time next year, may we be in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Bitter herbs, Maro, to remind us in good times of those less fortunate than ourselves. So tell me, Lucky, what do you do for a living? I'm a gangster. Lucky, stop it. I'm a property developer. <laughs> Lucky provides sub-economic housing to working class people. Oh. Which in Hilbert these days is like being a gangster. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. Let me show you the convincing papers that I drew up. Like, these papers are totally authentic. I even borrowed the letterhead from a rival law firm. You're late. Traffic. Don't happen again. Who's? How long to gain entry and remove the razor wire? Ten minutes tops. I got the name and the address of the owner from a contact at the Joburg Metro.
Relax, my light. I'm focused. Boss, that's a trouble, lad. That's only. Nazar, thanks. Look at this shit. The tenants can clean up. Tell them first month is for free. Okay, sure. What's the problem? What do you want? A job? Lucky like Kunan. Not so lucky today, ne Lucky? Like it's a lucky like Kunan. I'm arresting you for theft, fraud, embezzlement, larceny, racketeering, and extortion. Huh? Okay, my boy. Well, it is convenient for the government to blame Gunene. The government has failed dismally to provide the housing that they promised the people. Look at downtown Joburg. It's full of empty buildings. And the landlords won't let them out to the poor people, the black people. And those buildings, they make up a bulk of Gunene's housing project. Are you telling me that the government is not turning a blind eye on this? This is what I call the land redistribution by a big door. So why then is your client in jail? Well, it's simple. Lucky Gunene is outlived. He's just for us. My lord, my client has been victimized by corrupt and unscrupulous members of the former regime. Be and that I do as it that may, have... the trial date is the 12th of October. Bail is set at 10,000 rand. I phoned the bank and told them you were coming to draw the cash. Ask for a Mr. Duval. He's the manager. <laughs> As Ibus, we call ourselves the Jews of Nigeria. Do you know why? Because we have suffered persecution. That is why we're here. But you, you guys, you had it tougher. They told us we were going to punish these whites. We were going to take from them. And in reality, nothing. All I wanted is a housing center and a Mercedes convertible. Congratulations, Mr. Kanini, on your new vehicle. And now, 
We are being demonized by this society. They are calling us filthy, stinking, dirty Makwere Kwere. How do you think that makes me feel, Nasa? Pissed off. Yes, just like you, brother. Only I understand how underappreciated you are. And now, Kunen is in shit with the cops. And I have you to help me, my friend. Do you know how much money we can make? Millions every month. Cash. But Nas, I need you to tell me everything. Okay. Everything. It's yours. I can't take it. Why not? Because I just, I can't. I've done nothing illegal. What happened to being innocent until proven guilty? So are you innocent? Those charges will never stand up in court. What the fuck are you doing here? Hey, I'm talking to you. What the fuck are you doing here? Who let this fucking scallop in here? Huh? Hey, talk! You mustn't push. He's assaulting me! He's assaulting me! You, you, you saw this man attack me! I'm provoked! I want to lay charges for assault. Do you want to lay charges? Mm -hmm. You must be fucking joking. Who do you think you are to lay a finger on me? Hey, what is this? Apartheid policing? You think just because I'm a black civilian and you are a white cop, you have a right to assault me? Hey, I'm Detective Mudisan. What's going on here? This man assaulted me. Did anyone see an assault? Yes, yes. yes. He's a fucking scalar, man. This is slender. I have no criminal record. This man has intimidated me and threatened me. I want to lay charges. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's my democratic right. He is being made a scapegoat, and we are here to support him. And you feel the same way? Yes. We are the residents of Kelso. If Bolaki Kana won't look after us, nobody will. Be Bolaki Kana Your Honor, Mr. Kunene was identified at our offices. Obviously, this evidence has been tampered with. But the dates on the docket do not correspond with the arrest dates. Your Honor, Inspector Suart is currently on suspension, charged with assaulting my client. We have no provocation, nothing whatsoever. We are talking here about Mr. Kunene. Your Honor. There's no criminal record. I've had enough. Case dismissed. You know what the problem with South Africa is? The bad guys go free, the good guys can't touch them. But how did it come to this? Hmm, look who's running the country. I mean, these are guys we arrested. We put them in jail. No wonder they think the criminal's the victim. It's our fault. Who do you mean by our fault? I mean us, the white cops, from before. 
It's a different story. I'll tell you something about this fucker, Kunene. I'm gonna take him down. Okay, the first one is four bedrooms, three bathrooms, pool, sauna, and a tennis course. Have you told the estate agent I'm going to be moving three families into every room and four into the garage? <laughs> be nice, like you don't embarrass me. I'm serious. We are going to turn it into a slum, <laughs> then buy the whole neighborhood at bargain basement prices. Stop it. <laughs> Australia, so they're motivated to sell. Hi, Tony. It's nice. He's here. No. Not here. Okay. See you soon. Nazareth's drug bust and goose covert expansion into all the corners of my empire was exactly the excuse Swart needed. evicted. Buildings were cleared and those deemed unfit for habitation were condemned. The situation is serious. This is a massive financial loss to all of us. Even more serious is that many of our other buildings are equally overrun with drugs. We start cleaning up first thing in the morning. Let's clean the lifts, ne? Repair the doors and replace the locks. Alright, Kumba, find out this was fine. Lucky Kunene. Lucky? Guess what? They accepted our offer. We got the house. Good news. I'll call you later. Hey, Lucky! Swagal! Nene, I need to talk, brother. You want to die? This is unnecessary. You are fucking with my livelihood. And you are fucking with mine. I know why you are angry. I pay reparation. I'm a man of peace, brother. You wanna taste this, huh? You wanna taste this? Fuck off! I let him cover just to smoke. But we're not even allowed a cup of coffee, or tea, or chocolate. Why not? Caffeine. I mean, who ever heard of anyone dying of chocolate, right? Well, I don't know. Sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, be seriously, how many people die of lung cancer and emphysema? How does it feel? What? Owning your own house. Good. How's it going, Josh? Sweet, Tixie. I hear you found Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was just the cold turkey talking. Something from Mr. Gu.
Mr. Luma chita pa yon na wot. Namuta ka chula ka. Kinda wey fingi lo kura ka yaku yon ni Marie. You wanna drugs? Anyone seen a white chico inside? No. Nobody, man. Out of line. No, Josh, really like you. You're like my brother from another mother. Leah, you should eat something with this. No, I'm not hungry, thanks. When's Lucky on the phone? He said he'll call if he hears anything. Is your cell on? Came obviously. Support one by one. I wanna go to Master Park Sang Nanya. Then we kill him. Screw us a grand, Ingrid. We have a lot to lose. Something we need to talk about. Pelangu bail Nazareth out of jail. Ah, Oluki, no. When I saw Nessor Narla of Fenan Pinchak. Outside the base.
Let us just wait. Let's just talk. Let's work it out, brother. Come. What did you have in mind? Anything. Anything, Kunene. Anything you want. Can you bring Zakes back? You're under arrest for murder. What? You think this is funny, huh? Your bank accounts are frozen. Your money's gone. Well, let's see you try and quash this one, huh? You'll never win this war. Take him away. Police and soldiers took part in a major raid in Hilbar today. 591 illegal firearms were seized, including 2,714 rounds of ammunition. Police made 93 arrests for serious offences, including murder, rape, and armed robbery. Among those detained were the notorious Hilbar crime boss and slumlord Lucky Kunene, also known as the Hogan of Hilbar. Wake up, put down for the visitor. Don't be. I'm not ashamed. Sapi sits a horota pillar, Jalo Gam Crest. Mama, there's a lady, Anna Marie van Rensbeck. She'll be in touch. There's money to look after you. Never. Hagi badly chel tiabushu. Never. Okay. Must lay in the head. Kifo isa. See bro. Winfred. The tank. You try to buy me. Sa pasala maya. Le kolu mashuma mararu le super. One eighty seven. Ibale kuhu kwe manak. If I forget you, O Jerusalem, 
May my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Tear it down, they cried. Tear it down to its foundations. How are you? I'm okay. And you? Not so good. We um, we just buried Josh. I'm sorry. Will you come visit me? No. You know, if it's true that men learns through pain, I would have known that this couldn't last. Nothing ever does. We have to stop now. I'm not feeling well. What the hell is going on here? My client is fighting for his life and you have him chained like a dog. I want to tell him. I'm going to file charges. What is your name, Constable? I'm sorry, have I come at a bad time? No, 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 no. Come in, come in. I need a witness. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a I'm a man. 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 I'm just going to leave this here, officer. Please see to it that he gets it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sure, ma'am. Yeah, sure. If anything happens to him, Daki. Fucked up cops. We were supposed to be informed immediately if he had to be moved. I'll have to look into what went wrong. But we soon got duty. Sibia. Well, where is he? They say behind every fortune is a crime. The greater the fortune, the greater the crime. But I don't know about that. It seems the only people who say that 
probably never made one. What's important in life is to set goals and go after them. Who knows? I might even talk Leah into moving to the coast. After I've moved into a building? Or six. After every revolution comes a new order. But before that comes opportunity. After all, wasn't it P.W. Buota who said, adapt or die? In to my lawyer, it to melee me, I let so ye can so. Woman, it cavan and now any apumula. Uyota lekulegile. Jerusalem, Masia Zitova. Kulanjalus on Lovale. We beg in Dugavanda. Hala, la sia go to Misa. Jerusalem Yeah. 